Have you ever felt that deep sense of pride when someone you've mentored succeeds? Now imagine that joy magnified, the kind that comes from seeing someone not only grow, but thrive spiritually. This is the heart of John's message to the early Christians, a timeless reminder of the power of walking in truth. Picture this, it's the late first century, and Christianity is spreading across the Roman Empire. The Apostle John, now an elderly man, writes letters to his spiritual children. His hands, worn from years of ministry, tremble as he pens words of encouragement, love, and warning. After a lifetime of service, his thoughts turn to those he's nurtured. In his third letter, John opens with the statement, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. The 3 John 1 4. These words reflect his happiness in knowing believers are living out their faith daily. These children aren't biological. They're disciples and converts, standing firm in the faith despite challenges. Imagine John's joy when hearing that these believers weren't just talking about faith, but living it. Like a parent watching their child's first steps, John's pride comes from seeing their growth. It's the ultimate validation of his life's work, knowing those he mentored are living out Christ's teachings. Why is this so crucial to John? Because he's seen the dangers of drifting from the truth. In his second letter, John warns against false teachers who deny Christ's incarnation. He knows true faith isn't just what you believe, it's how you live. Doctrine and life must align, or the truth becomes empty words. John's joy isn't just personal. It mirrors God's joy when his children walk in truth. Jesus said in John 15, 11, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Walking in truth is more than holding correct beliefs. It's about letting those beliefs transform us, aligning our hearts with God. Walking in truth isn't just about doctrinal accuracy. It's about embodying the compassion, love, and righteousness Jesus modeled. It's faith in action, visible in how we treat others and navigate life's complexities. For John, the gospel is not just ideas. It's a transformative power that changes lives. Today, John's message challenges us to reflect on how we live our faith. Is it confined to Sunday mornings? Or does it shape our daily choices and interactions? Are we walking in truth, letting it guide our love, service, and relationships? When we live our faith authentically, we bring joy to those who have nurtured us spiritually and to God himself. Our lives become a testimony to his grace, a reflection of his truth. John's words ask us, are we walking in truth today? Are we living in a way that brings joy to our Heavenly Father? As we reflect on John's message, let's commit not just to hearing the truth, but living it. Let's strive to be people who bring joy to the heart of God and those who have nurtured us in faith. The greatest expression of faith isn't what we say, it's how we live.